Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello ladies, welcome to my spot. Learn to get past the surface. You know what, ladies? I'm going to tell you the biggest thing that hurt women. Biggest single thing that hurt women. Many are too superficial. Many are judging a man on, uh, you know, his surface qualities. In a book I talked about on uh, my regular channel, In Search of Good Pussy, by uh, uh, a reformed ladies' man, uh, Don Spears. He's, he had a chapter in his book talking about, you know, you know, riding fine, looking fine, and all that stuff, right? Too many sisters getting caught up in the surface of a man. And I, I, I kind of touched on this in my last video, right? Look, here's the issue. Now, I know you're going to check out the surface, right? You're going to. I'm, we're not stopping you. And anybody who's paid attention to my men's channel, what do I tell men? What do I tell men? Yeah, I tell them hit the gym. That's the main. That's my main thing. Anybody's read my books, hit the gym. Okay, fine. You know that turns you on. Have some style. That turns you on. So the men working on that, but then sometimes women got to meet them halfway. See, the biggest thing that uh, is really killing a lot of sisters. A lot of sisters are being killed because you're making a judgment on a guy. You know, in that first few seconds, and you could be missing out on a diamond. You know, you you know that guy gotta look good. You know, you know, be in shape, had clothes, had that nice car, everything. And the reality is, only a few guys are gonna be that on the initial meeting, and a lot of women missing out on that. Or if they even dealing with the man, they gonna deal with them. You know, they gonna categorize him on those surface things. And you know, it's this there is understandable, but. You got to balance that out. You can't, I ain't going to say totally get rid of it because, you know, we, you don't have to go against your nature totally. But when you park it there, that's where you get the issue at. That's where you get the issue at. I mean, you know what? You might see a guy one day, right? And you know what? That shirt looking bummy, he got some old shoes on, something like that. He driving an old car. And, he, you know, he might, he might see you and think you look attractive and he, he approaches you nicely. You know, he ain't say, hey, ma, and all day. He's like, hey, how you doing? And a lot of women will reject that guy. You know, he say, well, his shoes were bad. You know, he's messed up looking. You don't know what he's just coming back from. <laughs> That's the thing. You really don't know. Yeah, sometimes you have to go below the surface. Now, unless the dude is just hideously ugly to you, which most men ain't going to be in this culture. Let's just be real. You know, find out what he's about. I mean, you don't have to give him the number. You can talk to him, shoot, five minutes there or something, right? Because a lot of would just reject that guy, but you know what? What if that guy is just coming back from moving into his 17-room mansion? You know? He's sweating. He just happened to be out. He saw you, thought you were attractive. Like, a guy approaching you or you're going to see out is not going to be on his top game all the time. That's impossible. You know, he could be coming from the gym, something like that. You don't know. You know, he might have two cars. A lot of guys, you know, um, I've talked about men who have two cars, want to drive on a date. Some dudes just got two cars. They didn't want to give up the uh, main one. And they might have a luxury car at home. And then they'll have, uh, you know, some hoop day. They just drive around and just do, like, what for whatever. Just to, like, use up or something. You don't know. Or... Another way women get caught up into the surface of a guy, they looking for specific professions. You know, and that's, that's a big one. Like, they, they'll at least talk to the guy, but then he's like, well, you know, I'm an auto mechanic. Or I'm a plumber. All of a sudden, it's like, hey! Because they're looking for the surface. There's a lot of professional women who do this. They're looking for the surface of some guy saying, you know, they're a doctor or an attorney. That's surface. Because one, all that surface stuff 
it's, it plays a part. It draws your attention. It's a lure. But it don't speak to his character. That's the key. It don't speak to his character. You know, it don't tell you what type of man he is. It don't tell you what type of intentions he has towards you. It don't tell you where he's going. You know, you don't know it. You know, a few years ago, despite everything, educational background and stuff, you know, as an entrepreneur, I, I had to get jobs. I had to get part-time jobs to keep bills paid. You know, I was boy. I've been working on. I worked at gyms, worked in retail, department stores. You know, small shops. Now somebody might come in there and they might see I'm just doing something ordinary, and they think, "Oh well, he don't have anything going." Not knowing, <laughs> not knowing that this is just something to keep up my time, or I got a business going that's about to explode. You don't know. You don't know any of that. You gotta get past the surface. Get look for that diamond. You know, don't get so caught up in thinking, "Oh, this is what it represents." See, one of the issues, many women already have a preconceived notion of how a guy's supposed to be, instead of being open. You know, like you can meet a guy. Like I knew a guy. I remember I went to a seminar at his house. Right. Went to a seminar at his house. It was a real estate thing. Right. Got there on the way there. My car, you know, the check engine light came on. Right? The check engine light came on. Now this dude who's who flips houses for a living. And now he's into like big finance, like making big money now. He came out. And he looked at my car, he got that light off. He fixed it, he just figured whatever it was, he just fixed it real quick. He said, Yeah, just do this. He did say take it to a uh like a regular mechanic, and he did say, you know, I could probably take care of this. Uh, now, he fixed it enough to keep the light off, but he said, you know, take it to a regular mechanic. Now, this guy, now he had worked for years as a mechanic, yet he was teaching a real estate seminar. You don't know. You know I mean, here's the thing. You don't know where guys is going, what he has going on. There's a lot of cats out there. You see, you see him in a seemingly ordinary job, and you don't know. Another cat I know, now this dude is probably a millionaire, even though he's modest about at least... I ain't gonna say one percenter, but he's definitely in that top twenty percent, right? And he's definitely in that like high six figures, probably, right? Now, I seen this house; it was like walking the acres, right? But and this is a guy I met when I was working on a, a retail job, right? This dude, he would walk around. This is an older guy; he would walk around in like some stuff you would think a teenager would wear. And a lot of people didn't take him seriously, but, you know, well, I'm trying to make some money. So, I'm like, hey, you know, what's up? I found out this dude had so much shit going on. <laughs> was like, and I told people, he was a type. He looked like just some regular blue-collar cat. Even He even looked a little corny, right? But, I talked with this guy, found out what's about. This is a guy who could drop two thousand in in clothes and get suits in like high end suits and stuff. You know, he said this is just how his casual thing. But see, somebody looking at him, they would think, oh, he don't have anything going on. He a clown or anything. And that's the point. You know, he might have more going on. And also, even deeper than that, regardless of what a man does for a living, character, character, character. What good is it if you get that guy and he's, uh, you know, he's real conspicuously handsome? Not to say you should go for an ugly guy. But, you know, say he got all that, all the, he checks out for all the list and everything, but he's evil. And that happens a lot. There's a lot of women out there suffering because they got that guy. They thought, you know, he looked good on the surface and they come, they, and I've heard, I've heard too many horror stories. You know, I talked about a little bit about this in a previous video. They find out, you know, they be finding out dude's a child molester. You know, knew one woman. She found out this, uh, she can go past the surface with this guy. Found out he was trying to get at her, like, a uh, nine-year-old daughter. This <laughs> real talk on this stuff. Seriously, you gotta get, find out about, find out his character. Right? Find out, uh, you know. How he treat people. Find out his intentions. Get past the surface. 
Yeah, the surface draw you over there. Oh, yeah, that's fine, but find out what's up. Now, some women do this. Some women do this. Remember, anything I talk about on here is never an all, but somebody's doing it. I guarantee somebody is doing it, all right? And one thing for other women, some women will say, like, well, of course they should be checked for character, but, well, everybody don't do the same thing. If you're that type who got enough sense to check for the man's character, see what he's really about, hey, hey, Start a YouTube channel and tell your sisters. Really, real talk. Everybody isn't, isn't getting it because, look, I'm seeing all types. So I'm seeing who getting played, who getting dogged out. It is always that surface thing. It's always not getting to like, say, okay, find out where that guy's going. Find out his character. Find out what kind of heart he got. What kind of intentions does he have? Get past the surface. And on another level, sometimes if you do, you might be finding out something. Like I said, using an earlier example, you might, that guy who got good sense might have enough money to actually take care of himself and you, and quite frankly, might knock you out in the bedroom. Because I've had plenty of women tell me that they got to know him. They ain't think a dude would be much in bed. They got to know him, and they, shoot, they be coming back floating. Be like, la, 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 la. It's like, oh, how's that guy doing? They be like, <laughs> Seriously, just, hey, look. Find out. Get below the surface. This, this is your life. And I guarantee, I'm going to tell you what. If people keep the surface part, the surface part is good. It feels good to look at somebody who look nice or got shiny stuff. It feels good, but balance it out. Balance it out. You know, that's the biggest single reason a lot of men, a lot of women, shit, a lot of men pick out some uh, bad women, but that's on the other channel. That's the biggest reason because you see the surface and that thinking about what, what type of human being is this. Let me find out. Let me find out if we're actually compatible. That's a big issue. I talked about that. Like I say, that's going to be a constant theme. Compatibility. Compatibility. So anyway, right. Get past the surface. So, ladies, shit, you know what I'm about to do. So, ladies, yeah, have a good time and uh, uh, peace and blessings. <laughs>